suspension, the, the dispersion of the nano clay is a key, is a key feature for determining the maximum barrier improve, barrier improvement. And in my opinion, and in, in my experience, you must obtain what is called exfoliation of the nano material to obtain the most desired barrier features, which can be observed with the use of your of your nano composite. Next slide, please. Now we will turn our attention and talk about several new technologies that are being developed for the production of barrier films in general. Next slide, please. First, I will talk about multi-layer films in, in general. And please, when I'm talking about multi-layer films, much of the work that we'll be talking about will involve five layer films. However, I'm aware of and, and I will briefly comment on the development of films that have more layers, seven, nine, and perhaps even more. In general, the philosophy behind the multi-layer approach is that polyolefins such as BOPP or biaxially oriented polypropylene have very good moisture barrier properties. But at the same time, the OTR that is provided by these polymers, be it polypropylene or polyethylene, is relatively poor. However, as I have already discussed during the training today, there are other polymers that can provide OTR features to the film. The idea behind the use of multi-layer films is to, is to combine the polyolefins with an OTR polymer in a single film structure, thus, thus producing a film structure that can and does provide both MVTR and OTR features in a film. Next slide, please. Here is an example and a picture of a typical five layer film that I'm aware of that can provide barrier features to a product. The inner EVOH layer provides oxygen barrier in, the, in this film structure. Along with serving other functions, such as sealing features and perhaps also printability features, the PE layers can and do provide moisture barrier features to the film. There are also tie layers or adhesion promoters that need to be included in this film structure. The presence of the adhesion promoter or tie layer is due to the chemical differences between the PE or PP and the EVOH. And if one does not use the tie layer, the adhesion between the various layers is in fact very poor. In this structure, at least in an oriented final film structure, a typical thickness for, for the barrier layer of the EVOH can be less than five microns. Once again, this is for the final stretch film if one is talking about an oriented film structure. Next slide, please. <coughs> the steps in the production process in oriented films that have the indicated structure from the last slide are shown on this slide. First, the various polymers are extruded using multiple extruders. The number of extruders that are used depends on the actual film structure that is being produced. After the extrusion, the film is stretched either sequentially or simultaneously. The stretching parameters that are used during the actual stretching process of the film will and can affect the EVOH behavior. This is because different EVOH grades stretch differently with the polymers that, can, that, that contain more ethylene, generally stretching easier and to higher stretch ratios. However, it also needs to be remembered that those same polymers do not provide as good an oxygen barrier as do the polymers that contain more of the vinyl alcohol moieties. So there will be some trade-off between the stretching behavior